Alright trainers, I'm some northern guy, and I just wanted to say before the video today, keep your eyes peeled for a channel update video that's coming, that's going to explain a couple of recent events that have happened, and what that means for the channel going into the future. Also, a huge thank you for the massive influx of subscribers I've recently had. You are all amazing people. And with that out of the way, I hope you enjoy this video. Where's north from here? So as I'm sure a few of you in the Pokemon community will have seen floating around YouTube, there's currently a tag challenge going on that loads of the big Poketubers are doing, and it's basically just to say what your team would be if you were a trainer in the Pokemon universe. Now, the idea is you do the challenge and tag three of the people to do it, but there is no chance in hell I'm going to get tagged to do this challenge. I'm not part of that big YouTuber community, or the bit that big Poketuber community rather. Um, but I thought, sod it, why not just do it anyway? It's a really fun challenge to do. Screw it. So basically, you're just going to answer four questions to describe what you would be as a trainer in the Pokemon universe. So let's get on with it. Number one, what would your trainer class be? I'd probably say I'd be a veteran. Now, the reason being is I want my team to be mixed. I don't want it to be a set type team or a theme team. For example, bug catchers have bugs, black belts have fighting types, etc, etc. Um, so I'd want it to be pretty mixed, and I think there's a couple of classes that fit that. Veteran is definitely one of them. Ace Trainer is another one, but I don't see myself as an Ace Trainer. When I think of Ace Trainer, I think of someone who's really into the competitive side of Pokemon, and that's just not me. I dabble in it. And the other one would be a Breeder. I do breed Pokemon for competitive use, but again, it's not often. It's very, very rarely. So, they're out. But I have been playing Pokemon since I was 5, I'm 23 this December, so I think it's safe to say I could get away with being called a veteran of the series, so I'd be a veteran. Number 2, how many Pokemon would you have? 6. Simple as that. Number 3, why did you choose the number of Pokemon you chose? Well, why wouldn't you choose 6 Pokemon? Having a full team obviously gives you an advantage over someone who doesn't have a full team, and I think being a veteran trainer class You'd really understand that, and you'd obviously have a full team of Pokemon. I know not all the veterans in the games do, but in a real-life Pokemon universe, I'd have a full team. I really don't see why you wouldn't. And number four, what Pokemon are on your team, and why did you choose those Pokemon? Well, first of all, Inferni. Why? Well, just look at my channel and you tell me. Now seriously, Infernip is my favourite Pokemon overall, I've just loved it since Generation 4, and it's part of the reason why Gen 4 are my favourite games. I love everything about him, his fire and fighting type, which are my two favourite types, and his origins are just incredible. He's based off Sun Wukong from Journey to the West, who was also the basis for Goku from Dragon Ball Z, and when I was a little kid, Pokemon and Dragon Ball Z were my two main things that I'd watch and play, etc, etc. They were my childhood. Number two would be Charizard. Now put down your pitchforks. I know, two starters, two fire types, and more importantly, Oh my god, Charizard, you're so original. However, Charmander was my first Pokemon on Pokemon Blue, and I don't think I could be a real-life Pokemon trainer without having my first ever Pokemon. That is like Ash is saying, Yeah, what, Pikachu? You stay in Pallet Town. I'm going to go to Alola without you, mate. Charizard was my first Pokemon, as cliche as that is, and I know some of you are going to absolutely hate that, but he was, and that's why I'd have him. He is the first Pokemon that started it all for me. He started my Pokemon journey. Number three is Azumarill. Azumarill is literally just because he is a friggin' badass. I only really used Azumarill for the first time properly in competitive X and Y, and I fell in love with it. I didn't know how good Azumarill actually was, especially with huge power behind it. I'd used it a little bit in Emerald, like I'd get a Marl and Azumarill would be my water type every now and then, but I'd usually replace it for a Sharpedo at first chance. But I'd like to think that I wouldn't be the trainer who has just these big, massive, hard Pokemon. I'd have something little and unsuspecting that just wrecks shop, like Pikachu. And I would like to have a fairy type, but I don't really like any of them, except for Azumarill. Number 4 is Sableye. Sableye I'd have on my team because I can just see him being like a proper jokey prankster bro. 
Like, he'd be the Pokemon you can have a good laugh with. He'd be full of personality. If I ever wanted a laugh, I'd have Sableye with me. And I'd like using him in battle. The Prankster ability is fantastic. And again, same as Azumarill, I don't want to have everything be massive and bulky and hard. I'd want something small that you don't really see coming, but packs a hell of a punch. Number five would be Mamoswine. Remember I said I don't want my whole team to be big and bulky hard Pokemon? Well, I want at least one massive ass tank Pokemon. Mamoswine are bloody huge, it would be the muscle on my team. And in general, it's just my favorite ice type. He's bloody cool. It's a woolly mammoth for God's sake. And again, Gen 4 Pokemon, favorite generation. And number six, Glysaur. Again, another Gen 4 Pokemon, and if any of you watching have ever actually battled me, which I'm guessing is very few, you know how much I adore and love using a Toxic Star Glysaur. Glysaur is a blooming cool Pokemon, I don't care what anyone says, that guy is awesome. His design is fantastic. Ash has one, so you know it's good, that's basically what the internet thinks, right? But seriously, Glysaur is my favourite ground type and I just love everything about it. It's got a cheeky personality, it just looks cool, its design is perfect, and I love using it in the game, so I definitely have one in real life. So to recap, those would be the six Pokemon I would have Infernape, Charizard, Azumarill, Sableye, Mamoswine, and Glysaur. I would though like to think I'd be the trainer who has other Pokemon, rotates them around and things like that, but they would be my main six. And yes, I know there's two fire types, two ground types, and two flying types, and I did say I didn't want to have a theme, but I think there's enough variation in there to not be counted as a themed team. And that is basically it. Now, I'm not going to throw any tags out there because I wasn't tagged to do this, but I'm not stopping you guys. Go for it. If you want to do a similar thing, make a video yourself, or just put it in the comment section below. What would your trainer class be? How many Pokemon would you have and why? And what would those Pokemon be? But thanks very much for watching, if you liked the video then hit the thumbs up button, and if you want to see some more stuff from me, then don't forget to subscribe. And fun fact, those six Pokemon I chose are actually from an earlier video of mine about my favourite Pokemon of every type. If you want to check that out, hit the annotation on screen, or a link to it will be in the description. But I will warn you, it was quite a while ago, so bear with it. But in the meantime, I'll see you in the next video. I've been some Northern Guy. Have a great week. Bye bye!